My name is Steven Levitan. I am the creator, writer, producer, sometimes director of Reboot. I just wanted to work with him. I didn't even need to read the script. And he still hasn't read the script. <laughs> The show is about the rebooting of a 2000s-era sitcom. The characters brought to life by these amazing actors. They're multidimensional. Reed, played by Keegan-Michael Key, is sort of this erudite, pompous actor. But not, not exactly what they taught us at the Yale School of Drama. <laughs> the original showrunner, played by Paul Reiser. Gordon. You know, I certainly know how to play a guy who's run a show and dealt with network people and actors and writers. Basically, that's my choice. I do your script or I can go jump in a lake. I mean, I don't care where you jump. And then there's this new, pretty woke showrunner played by Rachel Bloom. That's obviously me and a lot of my friends. We don't need a bunch of dinosaurs in the writer's room. Rachel is a writer, and she is living a version of this life quite often. It's real. It feels like I know five people like that. My character is based on a super badass, amazing writer-producer from Modern Family, Elaine Co. Krista Marie Yu attacks that role of the Hulu executive so precisely. I'm pretty similar to my character. I think I always grew up trying to make things right. I'm not sure if I ever necessarily felt like I fit in. Zach, who was played by Callum Worthy, been doing teen straight-to-video movies. I, I was a former child actor, and I know that it's a difficult transition to go from being a child working in this industry to an adult working in this industry. You were just playing my dad. Right. So I shouldn't have been disappointed that I never heard from you after the show ended, not even on my birthday. Well, I'm really not into birthdays or kids. My name is Judy Greer, and I play Bree. Many concussions he has had. Bree, played by Judy Greer, ended up marrying the Duke of Fjordstad. I'm trying to be a good duchess, but they just don't accept outsiders. I'm much more like her than I thought I was. When I walk towards Steve Levitan, and he turns and tries to run the other way, that... <laughs> on oh, set. she's got like, another Can note. I ask you a question? Oh. I'm a big fan. Oh. Thanks, that's so sweet. What was I saying? I play, what's my character's name? Clay. Clay. Johnny brings a sense of mischief. You believe that he's been through some stuff through the years. I'm not too far away from the character that I'm playing. Maybe he's drank a little too much at a time in his life, and uh, who am I to throw stones? Go on. He's trying to quit drinking. I'm not. <laughs> Let's there make that one, clear. There is one major difference. <laughs> I remember hearing about the Roseanne reboot. I was reading about some of the behind the scenes things, thinking, well, that's the show I want to watch. I don't know that I'd rush back to do another half hour sitcom, but to do a show about a half hour sitcom, that was really funny, because you get to say things behind the scenes that you can't actually do on the show. There were times where it was confusing to know where the set ended and the lot began. Sometimes I have to be reminded which of my two characters I'm playing, but that's know? what we have Judy Greer for. <laughs> Johnny and I in the show park next to each other, and in real life we park next to each other. So that was weird pulling up in the morning, saying hi to him, and then doing a scene where we pull up in the morning and say hi to each other. A lot of our actual crew, too, were playing their parts. Yes. Like our props guy, Gavin, he mm -hmm. was the guy with the popcorn. I ended up bringing a lot of the experiences I had through the years into the show, and all the writers did. And we got into some pretty heavy stuff and things I've been thinking and feeling for a long time. And I think that's what's going to make it resonate. I think it's all such a, a love letter to the making of TV. Oh.